Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the LG WebOS signage software and I will show you how to use the play URL feature and how to change that URL and also how to reboot the LG digital screen if you have to remotely. So this is the LG WebOS signage dashboard. In order to get into some of the dashboard features, you need to log in. So if you click on login, you will get asked to put the pin. So you just need to make sure you enter the pin. And then also put in the capture code and press login. Now that you're logged in, you can go to con Control Manager. So these are the, some of the features where you at, at the top here, Content Manager and Group Manager 2.0. So Content Manager allows you to manage some of the content that is actually on the screen. So you can upload some photos and some text. It also has a, a template editor as well. So you can use that if you want to, to manage the content. Group Manager allows you to control multiple screens that are in the same lo local area network. But in this particular case, I'll use the control manager as we want to control the actual screen. So this is the dashboard. Once you're logged into the control manager, so here you see the screenshots that is taking place. You can actually change that to every X amount of seconds, but in this case, it's default to 10 seconds auto refresh. You can manually click on this icon to refresh and get a new updated screenshot. You can also check the temperature it shows you what the temperature is, what the signal is. So whether you're using HDMI 1 or 2, you can actually make the changes here. The software version, changing the name, and some of the network settings, whether you want to use the failover, and what the play URL, URL is actually set to. So at the moment, the play URL is set to on, and you can actually set the URL here. So if you wanted to change that to something else, you can actually just type it in and then click on preview and then it will display what is going to be displayed on the actual screen. So if you need to change that, just change that and then click on save. So that's how you change the actual site or URL you're using. Now if you had to use the SI server settings, you can't really do that on the actual uh, web interface of the screen. You need to do that manually on the actual screen. One of the other features that you can do is to restart the actual screen remotely. Just say it's displaying uh, an incorrect page or it's stuck somewhere or you, it's, it's locked up. You can actually restart it remotely. In order to do that, just go to signal, click on that arrow and at the bottom, you've got Reboot. Once you click on Reboot, it will restart the screen. So those are the two features that we normally use on the actual LG digital signage screen. If this video helped you in any way, give it a like and subscribe to the channel.